on the side. The only show on your telly box to go rooting through the dirty drawers of housemates and come up smelling like roses. Oh, it's time to meet our panel. First up is a man who doesn't actually work here, but has a habit of sneaking in our back door. Alert the lawyers, please. It's going to be another long night. It's Ian Lee. <laughs> is our resident psychologist, who's not daft funk, is Dr. Funky. <laughs> see what we did. You see what we did there. <laughs> Her name is just full of puns. It's brilliant. Um, our next guest always puts on an epic performance, and so she should. It's performance coach, Kate Marlowe. <laughs> <laughs> and completing our lineup tonight, she said of herself, bitches get places, and she will, but not until she's fulfilled her contractual obligation to be here this evening. It's Hazel! <laughs> Looking absolutely fantastic again. Oh, she you. never disappoints. Uh, now, there's been so much happening in the house this week, I don't know if I'm coming or going. In fact, the only way I can pull myself out of this funk is a quick recap. Who wants to join me? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Here's the week in exactly 80 seconds and no frames. You're a disgusting little girl. <laughs> Absolute fucking bollocks. Ain't she a bitch? That woman took a rude pill. I've actually bored your voice. Got an issue with me, Sam. You're chatting absolute shit. You're a dirty ass skank, and I want nothing to do with you, so shush. Oh, don't get all mental with me. Nothing behind the eyes. What? Stop being a baby! <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. Family! She's a slow house, me. Oh, she was absolutely disgusting the way she went after another girl's man. Super little girl. I want blood. I want sweat and I want you. Charlie manipulates the house. Ah. Ah. <laughs> she must be doing something that we don't know about. Not fucking impressed. That is the way I am. Little bitch face. Bam. Friendship over. Charlie, Dexter, Hazel, Jack and Joe, Sophie. You are the best housemate ever. Dear Sophie, I want to be just like you. You're pulling my leg. Oh, sweet Jesus, she's not on the Christmas card list. Yes, all, you have been affected. Wow, what a belter of a week in the big house. From friends and family nominating to the Queen Bee and the Worker Bee, going at it ten to the dozen. Yeah, now, before we all kick off with each other, <laughs> let's discuss last night's events. Hazel, out of the house for 24 hours, how's it feel? It feels pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. I <laughs> kind of, you know what, I kind of had my time, my tolerance was just about up. I Those think last two, that. three days in there were horrible to watch. It was so they uncomfortable. Were, yeah, you know, I was getting bullied a bit. Yeah. <laughs> no, you no, I'm a big girl. You were giving it out a little girl, bit as well. I'm a big girl, I can take it, I can take it. Do you know what, um, I kind of took a little bit of joy in giving her a wind up because I felt she was a little bit nasty towards me. Which, and one, was... which one was what, Gina? Yes, Gina. Oh, Gina, come Gina. on, it was think. <laughs> well, they I, say, well, I don't think we need was, to say uh, names there was, anymore. There was a argy-bargy <laughs> going, going on every which way, but look, uh, Dr. Funky, was it the right time for Hazel to go? I think it was the right time, and I think Hazel probably knew that she was going, so I she guess. put on a great performance. I mean, not the performance of you and Gina, that was a little bit uncomfortable to watch, but I think you both gave as good as you get, and basically, I think you're quite similar in some aspects, and that you're both very yeah. strong. Ooh. No, in the, that they're both very strong women, and they both want to have the last word, and obviously none of them That's wants to true. give up on that. Okay then, uh, Kate Hazel did survive eight whole weeks in the house. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, what did she do right? Uh, well, lots of things that Hazel did right, um, and I think there's a key difference here between uh, Hazel and Gina, and that is that Hazel really works hard for a living. OK, yeah. so Hazel's hard working ethic, I think, really helped her survive in the house because she worked it. Mm. Um, also, Hazel is strong. 
Uh, she's intelligent, independent, oh, and she doesn't mind opening her mouth and saying what she thinks and standing up for what she believes in. And I think Hazel's a very modern woman as well because uh, she doesn't have to play the nice, nice little girl and be all this and that. She's, she's a proper strong feminist woman I, I like. She's a strong feminist woman, you're right. And she is well fit as well. <laughs> yeah. And I think... It helps. Feminists yeah. can be fit, Ian. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they shave under their armpits. <laughs> this week, we saw friends and family nominations cause a hell of a split. Yeah. split. Dr Funky, what is it about this method that, that, that of nomination that scares the housemates so much? You think about it. Friends and family know what the housemates don't know. They can see everything. I mean, this time around, the friends and family nomination caused a spark, which Boy. contributed to the Charlie fiasco with Gina and Hazel. And, you know, when we think about that particular nomination, I'm think, t talking about Charlie's friend, mm -hmm. did she nominate on behalf of Charlie? Or was it her own personal experience? I mean, there's so many dimensions mm. that you can think about the reason why she nominated. But it's interesting how, from that nomination, Hazel, your whole reaction to Charlie changed. And I'm, I'm wondering what happened within you. Yeah, do you know what? I just felt that throughout the whole two months, I'd been very loyal to Charlie, very good. I'd kind of backed her up all the way, supported her all the way. We'd endless hours of chats in the treehouse, you know, I kind of felt like I'd stood by her through thick and thin. And then to turn around and see her best friend going, Hazel, rah, 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 Hazel, I kind of went, hang on a second, mm. have you been watching? Mm. You know, it was a little bit of kind of, you know, imagine my mother had come on and gone, Charlie, you know, I'm sure she would have felt a little bit let down. Now, I know Charlie didn't, nominate and it was her friend yeah but it just makes it made me question at the time what was being said in the diary room that well, would make her know. friends <laughs> we saw it we viewed it right before i was very yeah. eyes and it was very entertaining thank you uh, now kate did um charlie's waterworks savor this week from yes. eviction <clears throat> yes they did because there's a thing in how people uh, function and perform and charlie definitely has this mm -hmm. one down to a fine tee and that is that crying little girls are powerful so they turn on the tears and it freaks guys out. Oh. It freaks them. Ah! And I think a couple of them called her on the tears. Mm. Uh, I think Gina even called her on the tears because Gina knows how to do this powerful little girl thing as well. Right. Um, so uh, the tears, the waterworks mm. definitely say but Charlie. But they're not quite tactical. Oh. No, it's just her pattern of behaviour. It's her way of controlling things and getting her own way. It's just very childlike um, because uh, Charlie does everything very childlike. The and even, whole house against yeah, her, though, exactly. was so uncomfortable. Was, oh, everyone's oh, had that. Lots of them have had timing. The, the I think whole house timing. against I think, them. Yeah, I think everyone, happen, everything though. came at once. Charlie needed pulling up, though, because she's gone round to every single person in the whole house and what do you think and what do you think and what do you okay. think? Yeah. You know? We'll talk about this in a, a, a bit. Gosh, well, <laughs> not a Charlie fan. Uh, I, it's you not, I don't <laughs> dislike her. I'm just saying what is, you know? Okay, well, I, Don't I be fooled. personally love Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh, it was all about your arguments with Gina this week, mm -hmm. uh, Hazel. Wow. Let's remind ourselves. Oh, oh do yeah. you really think that you look that great? Do you oh, think yeah, you're something special? Look at you. 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 Do you want to well, have a look at yourself what? in the you mirror? What? You want to piece that you face know what? back together? You're definitely Just ugly inside and out, and I really don't like you. You're disgusting. Shut the fuck up. You shut up. You shut the fuck up. You're a disgusting little girl. Don't ever speak to me ever again. Have you ever listened to yourself? You don't even know how to do, have an do argument. You know, I don't even know how to argue. I don't even you know, know why you keep going. You know what? I'm actually bored of your voice. You your voice what? is so irritating. It's so going through my head. So is so yours. I think you're up. just jealous of me. You know what? And all you think about is spending money. I actually have to laugh about you. I actually have to laugh about you. Gina, don't worry. I laugh you about you every day. You with all the other little cheap clothes that I see you in the morning. You're just a cheap little tart. Washed up tart. Absolutely. Have you looked at yourself, darling? Have you seen the clothes you wear? You wear fucking nothing in the day. Neither do you. Maybe you should put a few clothes on you every once in a while. And you're stitching all your little padding and everything in all of your bras. You're just a little home-wrecking whore, and oh, I don't yeah, like Gina. you. Oh, you're hurts. one of those Go girls. On, keep going. You're Good one girl. of those keep girls. One, one, Ooh, thing, uh, AJ, one thing I do not like is I do not like seeing two people argue on television. It really <laughs> I really don't enjoy watching that. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Kate, why all the chaos? Uh, well, there's no leadership in there. Um, it's just every person for themselves. No one's taken responsibility. And we basically got two girls, two females behaving at their absolute worst. No one was going to win in that. I think the thing that was going on there was that I think Hazel had almost purposefully decided... Well, I have to ask you, but I think you said it earlier, the little yeah. bit she decided, oh, I'm just going to go for it and wind Gina up. Mm. And, and I think... Uh, With good reason. You see, <laughs> look, there's, en there's enjoyment of this. And Gina enjoys that as well. Mm. So... Um, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a kind of girl on girl kind of thing there going on. Oh. Uh, and oh, I, and I, right. do oh, I, I do mean that. I do mean that. I know we slept together. 
like, function. you know, by, by did, side by side. Did the <laughs> argument Just reveal saying. more about the others that were in the room watching mm. it? Of course, what did anyone do? Nothing. But let's think why they didn't do anything. People that were in the room, I don't know where Sam was. He seems to be missing all the time. Where the hell were the twins? If ever there was a time to say, no, they were there. No, they, no, no, they were loving it. it. No, but listen, why would they do something? They're up for nomination. Everyone wants to sit back and save themselves. Mm. This is a house about being for yourself. So let those two argue, because this is going to make Hazel's situation worse and their situation better. So they were yes. thinking tactically. Oh, uh, lying so. law. I think so. Oh. <laughs> no well, very much. That way. Still <laughs> to come on the show, you get your say in the phone room, and fingers crossed she doesn't do any more animal noises. <laughs> Embarrassing, honestly. <laughs> uh, smorgasbord of two animals together. I will... A smorgasbord of two animals Ooh. together? Yeah, I like it. Uh, but first, I need, <laughs> I need a little light relief. I can help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We have been digging around the diary room looking for the most salacious and groundbreaking TV fix we could get our grubby little mitts on. And we found it. Feast your eyes on this. That was <laughs> awful, Do you have a clock in the house? Um... Gina, Big Brother can confirm that it is not one o'clock. It's not even midnight. O-M-G. When was the last time you went to bed before midnight? Oh. Like, even on the outside world, I don't go to bed before midnight. Like, no way. Oh. Exactly. Oh, I don't know, big brother. That's the thing, I just, I don't, I don't know, like... Why did the scarecrow get a promotion? Could he was out standing in his field. <laughs> Bless you, Dexter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god! That's like capital boring. Like in capitals, like literally, like that's not cool, okay? That's not cool. Who goes to bed before 12? <laughs> my mom's friends, yeah, but like. Not us. Like, oh my gosh. Oh. oh, I don't know. Like, I don't know. My dad said to me that, uh, whenever I get, like, stressed or anything there in your, then I ought to try Tai Chi. But I said to him, what good eating raw fish gonna do? Like, he just needs to just forget about it. Like, and think about the real issues that go on in the world and realise that this is the most pathetic, patheticest, I don't know even know that's, whether that's a word, but thing that I've ever seen in my life. Jack, Joe. Big brother, big brother. Big brother. Your perfect evening on the outside world. How does it end? Four One words, perfect... rush home for Thryro. <laughs> 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 now on a serious note, it's midsummer. <laughs> oh, John Nettles, you do it every time, every time you work it out. Oh, Barnaby. Oh, DC, i Barnaby. Oh, he sends shivers down my spine as I meet him with my cream tea. <laughs> Kind of, I don't know if I half do stuff, like, I don't know, I don't know if I've been a bit, maybe... OMG, right? OMG, indeed, do you know? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> love that. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Doorbell repairman. If there's nothing else, Your Majesty, the diary room door is now open. Oh. God, you called her your honesty. Love it, thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Psych, where it's a bit like school in here tonight. We've got the fit Irish exchange student, <laughs> we've got the two geeky science types, Ooh. and we've got the naughty little schoolboy who can't stop twitching himself. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, we've blasted through the series like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> so with the final in sight, who's shaping up to be champion material? Kate, anyone standing out for you? Mm -hmm. OK, uh, Dexter. Why? Because he went in there as this person, superficial, all over the place, giving it all this big, I'm this, I'm that and the other, all this dating stuff. It's all a load of nonsense. He has uh, been up every week yeah. and he's survived. Uh, he has really started to come through strong. The way he took on Callum and saw straight through that was amazing and took great courage. Um, he has dealt with everything and uh, Dexter has gone from being a boy who doesn't know anything to becoming a real decent guy. He's, he's right. good. I like Dexter. He ain't going to win, though. He ain't going to win, because every time the... the they're all winners. The evic <laughs> they're all winners. Uh, every time the, the you know, it's ev eviction night, he gets booed a lot. And I think yeah. he's just too, a little, too left of centre oh, to they win. Boo they boo everyone, though, don't they? They do boo everyone. They like do. Like they, don't, they, don't boo the <laughs> <laughs> they do boo the they twins. They do boo the twins. They don't boo the twins as much. They do boo no, the twins. No, they don't. They everyone don't. Get, not yet. Not yet. Everyone gets booed. Listen, Dr Funke, yes. on paper, um, did any of this year's housemates, you know, fit into the classic big book the winner mould, if ever there was one. Well, <laughs> <laughs> apart <laughs> from <laughs> Hazel, no, on a serious note, sorry, not that you could have won, but on a serious note, remember last year when I predicted in week one that oh, Luke A would good. win and he won? Uh, you wouldn't remember because you weren't presenters then, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she did it! <laughs> she liked it, she ride it, she enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I think that Sam kind of fitted the mould, kind of, you know, quiet, <laughs> mixing in with the housemates. But I think the viewers this time, they don't want people sitting on the fence. They want true characters. Well, who's going to win then? I don't know. P possibly Dexter. Right. Or if Sam comes out with what he did this week, he could take it. Yeah. Hazel, what? well, let's, let's ask Hazel, do, do you think that, that Sam, the most boring housemate this year, could win or somebody else? <laughs> Sam is very reserved and quiet. He's funny in his own way and in his own little character, but I don't think that quiet is going to win it this year because, as we can clearly see, they've kept kind of louder, bigger characters maybe towards the end. Mm. Everybody knows how fond of the twins I am. I do love them to bits and pieces. I do think that... I know you don't agree, but I think they're funny and adorable and lovely. I think, I think there's no badness in them. I think they're just young guys and they want to be loved for who they are and I, I think, think they're they really, really cool. Nice. Yeah, I do, and I'd love to see them even just get to the final because okay. I think they deserve it. Well, they might. They just yeah. might. Uh, now, throughout Big Brother history, there's been classic moments where a housemate has been elevated to champion material. Think Craig taking on Nasty Nick, or even our very own Rylan standing up to Spidey. Remember that? Oh, magical. But have any of this year's batch had their own winning moments? Well, let's take a look at the evidence. <laughs> At the end of the day. They've been voting to keep you in. Go down there. Go down there. Do you really is evil inside. There's no way I'd ever cross that boundary as a girl code. It's just something you just don't do. In oh, there, yeah. I felt like I was sitting there and I was being spoken to like oh, shit. Really? So mm. And this is this is what's burning up inside me. I'm not holding it in. No. You know I would hurt them. No, no, no. You know that would hurt them. Yeah. No. Yes, you would. No, no, no. Yes, no, you would. No. And don't play as if it's a joke, but God, you won't. I'm not blunt enough, I'm cowardly, I don't always have the balls to say it to your face, OK? I get nervous, I don't like the idea of people not liking me, I hate the thought of being talked about, that is the way I am. Oh, yes, they do. Wow. <laughs> winning moments, then, winning moments. Uh, Dr Funke, do you think anyone can just have one moment to make them a champ? Well, I think this time, Big Brother series, it's really difficult. I mean, I know a lot of people might not agree, but what Charlie did this week for me was a lot. Remember, the whole house were against her. She had to stand up on her hurt. Because she doesn't stand up. She didn't have any backbone for anything. But this was the first time that she stood up to everyone in the house, and I think she succeeded. But in the a, in a, in a sense of who should win based on the journey, 
Might have to agree with you, Kate, even though I don't want to agree with you, but I would say Dex Dexter. Oh, Dexter. 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 Well, Dexter could who do you want to win? I actually want Sam to win. Yeah. Yeah. I actually want Sam to win. He's so going on a journey himself. Partial. Everyone's going on a journey. Kate, we, we spoke about Sam earlier on. He's a, he is a potential winner, I think. Can standing back and doing nothing be enough to win? <laughs> I hope not, because... <laughs> I, do ho I do hope not, because... Um, at the end of the day, it's a reality TV show, yeah. an entertainment that we put on. Um, we want somebody who's really going to deliver, and that means being courageous. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, to be courageous, you've got to really let go. You've got to step out of your comfort zone. You've got to take risks. And that's what all winners do, be they sporting heroes and winners, or winners in business, or, or winners in a, an entertainment we've career, had you dull, must go we've for had it. Dull winners, <laughs> we've had dull winners before. Yeah. Cameron, Cameron, yeah. remember well, him? Look, if we get a dull winner, we get a dull winner. But, yeah. I mean, I, I don't want but a dull so winner. My winners, Sam. Yeah. I mean, I think Sam's in her house. He's got a hearing impediment. He's surviving in that house. I mean, mm. look, no one's looking well. at that. He's doing really I, well. He is. Yeah, okay. but I mean, you know, Dr. Funky, yeah. Gina has long been a favourite with the viewers. Could recent events have affected her chances? I think it, it will alter the public's view, but do you know what? Gina can pull a few tricks out of her bag and win the public back. If she can win the public back from the time of what she did to Sally, which I thought was quite mm. worse than what happened Nasty. with her, and, yeah. then she could do it again. But I think she needs to be really careful, because some of the things she said yesterday were quite untasteful. Well, Hazel. she's not got long. She's only got nine days. What can happen in a day? Hazel, mm. you said that, that some, uh, last night that some people were tactically cozying up to Gina to yes. uh, she appear popular. Who are you talking about? Give us names. Um, do you know what? It's not even a names thing. I think it was a generalisation of everybody in the house. It was collectively, I think, once we had that task where everybody was lined up from one to nine mm -hmm. and people went, hmm, 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 as they do, because it is a game. And they kind of went, hmm, oh, not so popular, popular, beeline. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people in that the previously didn't you like and Gina her. had, though, yeah. uh, uh, Sophie was yeah. sat next to us smirking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At yeah. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't, I'm not so sure if people um, like Gina as much as they may say they do. Okay. Right. Because I think Gina has been tipped as hot favourite within the house and everybody believes and I think everybody may be sheeping a little bit toward her direction right. when going back a couple of weeks ago. Nobody wanted anything oh. to do with her, you That's know? That's interesting. Mm. Wow, such excellent yeah. chat. And finally, I've just got to squeeze one more in. Kate, do you think people are staying in it to, you know, play the game or to win now? Uh, I think they all went in it to win. Mm. Uh, win, 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 that's the thing. And I think it's where they've decided if they can or they can't. And I think on that note, Gina's idea of when she's placed number one and that she's gonna, she yes. thinks she won it already and it's gone to her head and mm. she's, yes. she's just yeah. blowing it completely. Oh, no. She's blowing it this oh, way. Oh, no, yeah. she yeah. might be blowing it. Well, that was such excellent chat. It was excellent chat. I chat, mean, yeah. you <laughs> really do deserve a massive reward and a little tiny pat on the back. We pay them money and give them sweets. And that is reward <laughs> enough. That is reward enough. You're right there, Ian. <laughs> and uh, whilst we are talking about journeys, Dexter has been talking about the changes he's been going through. Take a look at this. It does take a process like, like this to realise how much of a prick you were. Seriously. Look, you look back, I look back now Just and... Yeah, and you realise a lot. Yeah, I look back now and I think, fuck, you know, I was 100% 100, 100 well. processed bellend. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was just like, what? Mm. What was I doing with my life? Processing. Yeah. <laughs> what was I thinking? Like, literally a 22 carat knobhead. I thought I was amazing. <laughs> How you've changed. I think it takes 16 people that you've just lived with to tell you you're an asshole to realise you're an asshole. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's just like... <laughs> God. What is out? That's right. That is really how you will lift those buttocks. Um, and maybe um, that 22 carat knobhead. I can, can he, did he really call himself that? Yes, he did. Maybe Dexter will like your peachy little bum. <laughs> We're in the phone room, everyone. <laughs> We're in the phone room. Hit me. Are you ready? I'm tempted to hit you after that. <laughs> Who have we got on line one? Yeah. What's your natter? Natter. Getting into Tracy it. from Menstry. Uh, hello. Are you Tracy? Are you all right? Hi. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Come on, talk to me about uh, tonight's events. 
Well, I just, I mean, my personal thoughts on all is I just feel, you know, was very, very nasty to Hazel this week, especially this week. I just, I felt really sad for Hazel the other night when Gina was talking in the bedroom and she was lying next to her in the bed. I could have cried, but I just thought it was oh. awful. I Jesse, really did. So much. Yeah. You're getting really, seriously, emotionally involved with people there. I like it. <laughs> um, but, but you're always a fan of Hazel. Yes, I have. I mean, I, she's a beautiful, strong, charismatic young lady. You know, I just think she's got so much going for her. I think she's done really well in the house and she's kept her head up high because she, she's strong. She enough. has been. Well, listen, we've got to move on to. I want to get. We're we'll squeezing more voices, Tracy. Thank you very much. She has been very good. But, 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 Hazel has been a little bit naughty as well. It's, I don't want to paint, oh, yeah. this, I don't want to paint a, a saint's image of her. Uh, who's on line two? Uh, we've got Simon from West London. Hey, Simon, Simon West London! Hello there. Hey, man, how you doing? Oh, hello there. He sounds what? like a gentleman. Are you, Simon? Can I just talk about Hazel? Why not? Yeah. Why not? It's Big Brother, let's talk about it. <laughs> I think that there can be over-analysis as to why Hazel was evicted. Um, since the Daily Saga, she's had to endure uh, negative chanting from the crowd. But overall, she's a beautiful woman. She's got a feisty personality. <laughs> yeah. And she's that. entertaining, which she, is important. She is entertaining. Uh, uh, no uh, more entertaining uh, than you, though, right now. I, I think you must be our most intelligent viewer. I know, I know this who this is. Amazing. Do you? I know who this is. I won't say. Your secret's safe with me. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> what, can I just say what damaged her irreparably was her, her petulant, you could say selfishness. Please do. Please do, darling. It, it's just uh, her petulance, her selfishness during this week's task. Uh, she couldn't get her own way. She was obviously under pressure. And she reacted, I thought, in a very childish manner. Oh, I think, because she was, she was getting picked on, I thought, a little mm. bit with the stinging on the, those beautifully formed buttocks. But everyone uh, was getting stinging, But everyone was getting, but it was, it was it was aimed at her. It was aimed at her. And I think that she was well within her rights to try and sneak that thing off, uh, drop the C-bomb, and, and be, <laughs> react as she did. I would have reacted the same way, to be honest. No, I, I think... If and you have a model image for society. <laughs> Me, lose my Thank temper? You, what? Never. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Simon. Thank you, Simon. How Thank funny you. he phoned in. Isn't that funny? Do you know him? I know who he is. Well, who is he? I'm not saying. I'm going to respect his anonymity. <laughs> OK, then. Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> We've got Adrian from Taunton. Adrian, hey, yeah. Hello there. Good evening. Oh, good evening. <laughs> How um, do you do? Well, I'm very well, thank you. I just want to say, first of all, a big up to the whole team that's involved in this year's Big Brother. It has been fantastic. Thank you. It's these three. It's these three. These are the first Dream animals. team. Dream <laughs> team. Thank you. <laughs> and that's everyone in involved, including the people that called me up today to say, would I like to be on the show? So I think it's been absolutely brilliant. They thank you very much. It's fake TV. Hazel, fake. What? <laughs> What's your question? I that Hazel, I think, did absolutely brilliantly yesterday. I've had my doubts about Hazel as the show's progressed. Okay. But I think she... I think everyone's playing a game in there. That's what yeah. everyone's got to remember. They're all playing their own different game. And no-one knows how this game is, is, is run. You know, and, and you, you have to be in the house to actually learn how the game is progressing. And no-one knows what's, gonna, what's around the corner, and that was demonstrated this week. No, totally. So wise. Is this the first time we've ever we've got decent three callers. thin people? I like wow. it. I ride it. I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow. Wow. Coming up, more psych-based chat and exclusives that you can shake a stick at. Please don't go anywhere. It'll make me cry. I will. See you in a bit. <laughs> Shut up, Ian. Yeah, keep going, because you're like really affecting me. Ooh, AJ Tommy, shut up. Ooh, I'm so affected. Oh, Ooh. you're a dirty yeah. little skank, yes. and I don't want anything yes. to do with you. You're just so. showing off because your mate Funky's here. So when you button it, he'll dig up your bum hole. <laughs> well, do you know what? I'm absolutely sick of seeing your ugly face every single day. Yeah. Ooh. Silly little bitches. Here's an exclusive. Dean, <laughs> if you win. Are you going to go to the rap party? <laughs> you have to go to the rap party. <laughs> oh, God. Who am I going to talk to? Only you. Um, and, uh, wait, just you. Oh, yeah, Dan. But then that, uh, that hobbit will be following him around like a fucking wasp. Um, wasp. 
um, if it's like loads and loads of like production team and everyone, like I'll stay for a little bit longer because I want to chat to them. But I'd rather chat to them than the rest of the other housemates. I've already lived with them. I don't need to see them ever again. <laughs> <sighs> just seen after eight weeks together and usually for Big Brother no particular groups have formed this year hmm interesting uh, more than ever we've seen alliances made and broken at the drop of a hat here's the proof well, I hated you <laughs> was it your idea to sweep up leaves I just get you back to the are you serious it was your idea <laughs> 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 Who do you dislike within the house? Um, Hazel, Hazel, Hazel. You're a dirty ass skank, and I want nothing to do with you. Gina, so shush. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, like shush. Up every day, look shush, at your shush, own shush, 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 shush. Q R X Y. I've got never. You don't know your fucking alphabet. Uh, my first nomination is going to be Sophie. I don't understand what your problem is with me, Sam. I, don't I really have a don't. With you, you. you have got a problem with me, Sam. I have got no problem with you. <laughs> Charlie? Probably how, not how Dave felt, but a little bit like. Charlie, I give up. Okay, now that you yeah. need to think before you speak. <laughs> Okay, what is going on? I think really what we're seeing is that there are no friendships in the house. Mm. And when you hear them saying, it's my best friend, I remember you saying to Charlie, we're going to live together. But I don't think you're going to live together now. <laughs> so it's just like showing that the friendships are not real and genuine, but the friendships are there just to get through. Remember, this is the first time that Big Brother have done secrets and lies from the beginning to now. So they can't trust anyone. Yeah. So all they know is they can trust themselves. And that's what we're seeing. Well, that's interesting, Kate. Do you agree? Why mm. are the housemates so scared to form a group? Uh, I think Big Brother's secret and lies have definitely messed it all up. But also, they're all... Um wanting to survive and they can't right. risk forming friendships because of trust there's mm. a lot of trust issues a lack of trust in there um, and they're also very egotistical so they've all been sat thinking you can see like I'm gonna go on Big Brother <laughs> and then I'm gonna get that and then I'm gonna be famous and then I'm gonna get invited to that and then I'm gonna marry them and you can see they've all just sat there in this kind of crazy thing it's like uh, you know a lot of young people do now they think oh and then that's gonna happen mm. and then I'll I'll be a millionaire and I'll live in a mansion you know I mean it's crazy yeah we're all skin they're deluded. <laughs> They're deluded. They're deluded. They're deluded. They're deluded. Hazel, do you agree that Secrets and Lies has kind of stopped friendships and groups forming this year? I think so, because do you know what? It first started off with Michael being an actor, which threw every one of us. And next it was, you're an actor, and you're an actor, and you're a mole, and you're this, and you're that. And then there were friendships, and they were broken up, and there's conspiracy theories, like left, right, and centre. You can't go a day without there being a new conspiracy theory. And I think, yeah, it has, mm. because now we're looking at the safe house going, there's people in here. And it's yeah. I, I heard someone laughing outside. I know there's someone definitely in there. They're, they're doing essential bedroom maintenance. And, you know, it's just crazy when you're in there and you're listening to it all the time everything becomes a suspicion everything so mm. everybody's going a bit loop to loop in there and that is what it is you can't you concentrate said it, yes, that's you what it said is. it um, and it has been very explosive particularly in the last couple of nights uh, dr funke had you know parental authority figures such as jackie and dan still been in the house would we have seen more harmony maybe I think we would, because I think we've started to see the fragmentation since Dan left the house. You know, Dan was the father figure, Jackie was the mother. So both parental figures have left the house. And mm. I remember I was asked, well, who would take up the parental role? And no one could take up the parental <laughs> role. So they're all acting like kids in the playground, and they're just being let loose to do what they like. And that's why we're seeing fragmented relationships, really. Well, uh, Kate, you know, surely this has been entertaining. It's been absolutely <laughs> fantastic. I honestly have to say, I think it's been the most entertaining and thrilling Big Brother um, ever. Yes. Thrilling. Really, really thrilling. Yeah. 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 Can we get that on the court? And the <laughs> please. I mean, no, I really do. And, and it, it's just made it extremely entertaining because uh, there's been so much that's unexpected. Yeah. So yeah. even the housemates, that, well, all of them, they know the format of Big Brother. They know they've watched, or oh, you win by doing that, and you do that, and you do that. And there's, there's mm. like tick boxes mm. as you go along. But the secrets and lies in Big Brother this year ha has just made it that they cannot relax because everything 
everything right. comes unexpected, just as they think they've got it sourced. Whoops, <laughs> yeah. it does it again. Yeah. And it's brilliant for us to watch. Yeah. Dr Funke, with this, uh, such strong characters this year, yeah. does it feel closer to the series one that when Big Brother was the social experiment? Yeah. The most intelligent thing you've ever said, Ian. Yes. Oh! <laughs> I would Dr. definitely. Funky. <laughs> I'm getting him back. I'm getting him it back. It was. I can assure you, it was not written on this card and highlighted in green. No, 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 no. Just no. getting you back. No, I totally agree, Ian, because. You know, where Big Brother, I think, kind of lost its way a bit was that it was trying to do something that wasn't psychology, and now it's gone back to pure social psychology, which is why... Where is psychology dressing a bunch of numpties up as bees and making them bottle honey? So Where's the psychology? Lot, there's a lot of no disrespect. There's a lot of psychology, how people react to a situation that's absolutely. presented to them. And to orders absolutely. as well. There's a very famous <laughs> experiment where they had people, and they put them in the role of prison officers right. and prisoners and abuse of power. And yeah. so so they put Gina in that role of being in charge with Charlie as the sidekick, That's pressing right. the button, and they went for abuse of power. Psychology. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Is that enough psychology Don't for you? Don't you know nothing? Yeah, this is a psychology. <laughs> yeah. There's the psychology. Oh, oh you've you got me. <laughs> you've got me. Hazel, uh, having lived it, did, did you get the sense that this, this was kind of a, a more of a social experiment concept? There was psychology involved, as these two women have just said? <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely do agree with that. I think that, I mean... You know, we're all going around wondering what the hell is going on all the time. I mean, it is. It definitely was psychological. There was much more intelligent, logical people in there, I think, as a whole. Yes. Um, everybody had something to say. You know, I was expecting to go in and be met by a kind of a bunch of outlandish kind of attention-seeking... Mm. OK, bar mm. one person. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but the rest, the rest were quite normal, balanced-ish people. Well, and, who are you going yeah, in touch with? Tell me, though. Mm. Definitely Dan the man. Dan the man. He did not deserve to go so soon. Dan was super and he, he ran the household and everybody loved him. And I I think Dan should have gone all the way. And what about the twins? They were welling up for yes, you last night? they were. The twinies, I love the twins. I think they are just the cutest little brothers that I've never had. But you just won't be hanging out. Why? <laughs> 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 no, 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 I will. I'll definitely keep in touch with them because they're just their little sweethearts. They are, you know. Anytime you need brothers, they're the boys. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank exactly. you. I yes. am completely spent after that debate. It was really riveting still. It was, um, it was. <laughs> Still to come, this one will be in the camera buns and I'll be sharing all the news from today. Hmm? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realise I could speak. <laughs> Psychology fact number 2,397, right? People typically look for things that confirm their existing beliefs and ignore information that contradicts what they already think. This is known as expectation confirmation. Mm, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Here's today's news. Ah, oh, every day is a school day. At 11.11 .11 this morning, Big Brother was grilling Dexter on his hopes for a future with Charlie. I never thought that I'd find someone, someone like, like Charlie in this process, so, you know, it's been... It's had so many sort of positives that hopefully will outweigh the negatives. So, yeah, no, we definitely are uh, sort of kindred spirits. It's been hard because of the whole triangle thing. Oh, God. I just thought that word makes sense, sends shivers down my curved spine. Um, but yes, you know, I really, really, really care for the girl, but I can't, you know, it's... If, it, if it's one-sided, it's one-sided. And, you know, it's, it's like anything, you know, it'll always be the one that got away. And But she'll always have a place in my heart, definitely. Gosh, but, you know, hey, don't give up on the, that dream, Dexter. Uh, you know, this could be another beautiful fairy tale romance like Ashley and Lucas. Hey, happy ever after. Uh, it's one twelve this afternoon as part of today's task, Big Brother legend Marcus Bentley was dictating the action in the house. Our oh. housemates decide to have a food fight in the kitchen. Oh, oh, oh shit. Have what? No, food no, fight. No, no, no. 
Oh, One sec, I'm bleeding. Hang on, Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, you fucking joking me! 119 pm. Gina tells the house near she wants to clear up the mess all by herself. And then she gets on with it. Are you for real? <laughs> Oh, we all have a sit down injury. Marcus Bentley. <laughs> uh, looks like Gina won't be talking to Marcus Bentley at the Met party either. And finally, at 1.39 this afternoon, Jack was looking for love. Whenever I get a boyfriend there, I know in my mind sort of what I want. I want someone a little bit older, like not literally like my age or two years older, nothing older than that, sort of maybe three. Someone who's funny. Someone who's smaller than me, like skinnier than me. But I don't want a camp person. I don't want camper and feminine. Yeah. I don't find that attractive at all. Right, Sam. What are you working on? Sa Sam. Where is it? Sam. Where is it? There, there, there. Move, move out my way, Sam. Oh my God, this one. It's was. gone away. <laughs> this garden's fr freaking me out now because of the amount of wasps. Fancy shoving honey all over the floor in the middle of summer. Who does that? Who puts maple syrup on the floor and expects wasps not to come? <sighs> Absurd. <laughs> Who does that? We do. Uh, Jack, if you're looking for a boyfriend, I can set you up. Seriously. I know loads of people, right? So, you want a man who is a few years older than you, Wylan is a few years older than you, yeah? You want a, a man who's skinnier than, you, skinnier than you? Wylan's skinny, yeah? And you want a man who isn't camp? Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, I can't think of anyone. That's your news, folks! <laughs> but what is going on in the house? I hear you all cry. Ian, tell me what's happening. I'm free. Eh? I'm free for the fella if he wants a date. I'm I'll give it a go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Never say never. Could you try it? Never say never. Never say never. You never know. I might like it. I like now, your open mind there. Look Ian. at the state. This is the bedroom. Look at the state of the bedroom. The housemates have uh, been, been let out for the day, as they often are. Uh, and <laughs> like animals. Like animals. Look how <laughs> filthy the floor is. It's disgusting. Oh. The state of the bed over there. Lots has been happening um, today. They've been entertained earlier on. They've got, got all the big guns coming in. Really? Levi Roots, the reggae reggae sauce man. <laughs> <laughs> he did a barbecue for them. Come on, big brother, you can afford better than that. I'm sure he's a lovely bloke, but still, it's just Levi Roots. Um, Charlie and Dexter... Did he actually do it? Wait a minute, rewind, he, he, he Ian. did a barbecue Did he actually them. do a barbecue? You did a barbecue and sang that song about um, reggae, reggae songs. <laughs> what else? Uh, Charlie and Dexter have... Well, this is weird. Charlie and Dexter have kissed, and Charlie has said that she's actually got feelings uh, for Dexter. Shut up. No, this Shut is true. Up. The twins have not spoken to each other all day. Why? Um, and Gina has confessed to one of the housemates that she doesn't actually have any money, that she lives in a council estate, and the whole thing about having a load you of cash. You lie! I'm making all this up. I'm, me, I'm literally Ian. making it up. I know you are. What, 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 what do you want me to tell you? That I, that I can't see them. I don't know where they've gone. The room is dirty. I mean, what? I'm, I'm doing my best here, for God's sake, AJ. Straws. I know. I'm, I'm trying to make gold out of shit. <laughs> Can I go in? Shall I go in? Go in! Can I go in? No! There's a man here. Away. There's Come a man back. here who Thank is you, Ian. going, no, no. Oh, get away. Thank See you. you. <laughs> wow. What a guy. What a guy. Hi, Louisa. Hiya. Hit me. Fill me with digital. We've got no time, so hurry up. Oh, we've, <laughs> we've got a brand new um, big makeover with Callum on the website at the moment. Oh, gosh, I hope you get rid of that whoopy <laughs> nipple piercing. We might have done. That's uh, uh, channel5.com uh, forward slash BB makeover. I'll tune in. He does some speed dating as well. Excellent. Um, and live streaming from midnight till two tonight. 
Well, do not miss it. Thanks, Louisa. Uh, all good things must come to an end. And so does this. Massive thanks to all of my guests tonight. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 12.30 in the afternoon for Wild and Super Size Celebrity Sunday with special guests Titch and Joe McEldry. Why does it take a minute to say hello and forever to say goodbye? I don't know. Good night. See ya.